Nine, give me nine. Oh, won't you give me nine? Give me six plus three, give me seven plus two, give me eight plus one, give me nine. Now here's your nine at nine. Number nine, let's check out this electric surfboard. Right. This is from uh, Lift Foil. It can carry two riders, reach 30 miles an hour. The board lets you glide over the water even the waves are nice and calm because there's a hydrofoil attached to the bottom that lifts it out of the water. And though it looks really cool and easy to use in the video, it's not that simple. The shorter board is designed for experienced surfers looking to do tricks. The longer one is for beginners and casual surfers. Either way, I would fall right off. Yep. Yeah. Uh, $10,000, oh. just under $10,000. <laughs> Available in February. Hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, number eight. Now, do you want to keep spiders away? Three words. Fragrant nuts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly chestnuts. According to some nut oh. experts, the chestnut's shiny outer shell spooks spiders. Ooh. They don't want to go near it. They also have an aversion to the smell of the nut's oil. Uh, keep in mind, chestnuts can pose choking hazards to pets and kids. So, you, But you might want to put some on top of baseboards or in the back of cabinets or closets. Uh. There aren't many studies on this that oh. prove chestnuts work at all, but it doesn't hurt to try. Another suggestion is citrus. So maybe the combination of citrus fruit and your nuts could uh, make yeah. the whole thing work. Let us know how it works out for you. Mm. Or else you could just call like, a, like an Orkin or something. Yeah. One of yeah. those professional companies that they yeah. really do it. But yeah. maybe you start with some oily nuts and <laughs> yeah. see where it lands. All right. Number seven, have you ever heard the name Cotton Mather? Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. you may have wondered who the heck is he? Well, besides having a great name and great hair, he's one of the most influential Puritans and a huge figure in the development of America. He was born in 1663 in the Massachusetts Bay Colony. His father also had a great name, Increase Mather. He was the president of Harvard in the late 1600s. As for Cotton, he would also become a president of Harvard, but he made uh, his name in the Salem Witch Trials as a preacher, which helped him convince the people of Massachusetts that they were chosen by God in this new world of America. Somewhat at odds with all this was that Cotton Mather, Mather was actually a really good scientist. So Go figure. On top, top of that, he was married three times. Oh boy. His wives kept dying on all uh, those old timey diseases. Oh, that's and, too bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and he had 15 kids. Wow. Because he was super hot. Yeah, he, he was. couldn't keep her hands off. Yeah. Him. Good for him. Uh -huh. All right, number six. You may have solved murders in the board game Clue, but can you solve these? These oh dollhouse rooms were set up to look like real murder uh, scenes huh. to help train forensics detectives back in the 40s. They were created by Frances Glessner Lee, known as the mother of forensic science. Sure. She used them at her legal medicine department at Harvard called the Nutshell Studies of Unexplained Death. Wow. Students were given magnifying glasses and flashlights to study each scene and collect evidence. Number five, uh, the Wall Street Journal had a good piece about all the different kitchen trends that people regret doing. Here's just one of them. The giant island. We're not talking about the modest island where you can chat over coffee, even eat dinner for a small family. Some islands are so big, some ladies of the house would uh, say they would have to rush around to put uh, to one side to put something in the dishwasher, then go to the other side. I mean, there's a lot. Yeah. You got to get around yeah, a big a island. You got to get a lot of steps in that way. She said she pictured a bunch of friends sitting around having a glass of wine where they all made pizza on the big island, but that never happens. Instead, oh. she needs to use an actual broom handle to reach the middle of the thing when she's cleaning. In short, you know, it uh, maybe you don't need it quite that big. Yeah. There Listen, you if you have an island that big, you're probably not cleaning your own. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's anyway. true. Yeah. yeah. All right, number four. Uh, have you heard of garlic? It's the newest vegetable it's hybrid. It's garlic. No, no, garlic. Oh, This okay. is garlic and Thank leeks. Thank you. Uh, okay. You had a good leek lately, Larry? I have. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for asking. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah. Uh, right now, it's only being sold in New York, but come next year, it's going to be everywhere. It's described as less pungent than garlic with a butter-like flavor uh, when it's cooked. It's also grassy and sweet. It's uh -huh. also a pretty big veg, like 19 inches. 
So if you're planning on buying some garlic, uh, make sure you've got the space in your pantry for it. Yeah, this is not a reference. There's a supplement called this, but this is the yeah, real deal. Is, you uh, don't want the supplements. A cross breeding yeah. thing, which I don't understand how that works. Right. But, you know, I, yeah. don't, I don't get it. It sounds fancy. Yeah, it sounds yeah. interesting. And then, like, how does this happen? Uh. How do you put the garlics and the leeks together? Well, you yeah. put them in a room, yeah. you shut the door, and <laughs> yeah. come back in an hour. See what happens. Yeah. That's how it works. That's yeah. right. A little Barry oh, Manilow <laughs> music. <laughs> what do you do, though? Like, yeah. Barry not... Manilow, that's what does it for you. Oh, yeah, you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Now, that's Barry White. Also yeah. good. Yeah. You yeah. wonder why you stopped at two kids. Yeah. <laughs> and Marvin Gaye. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna right. we'll get it right. Ready to take a chance again? A little oh, yeah, there? Yeah. Gay. yeah, so, uh, I thought we were going happen. somewhere else. All right. Number three, check out this cool structure made entirely of bamboo. The 8,000 square foot building is in Thailand and Ooh. it's used to host basketball and soccer games and can hold up to 300 people. Oh, wait. Despite its organic appearance, the structure was built to resist earthquakes, high winds, and other forces of nature. Hey, Look there. at that. That's fun. Wow. <clears throat> All right. Uh, wow, that's cool. Bamboo. Uh, number two, coming up at 9.30, we were talking to Hope and Kadero Watson. They are keeping the spark alive in their marriage by recreating their own versions of challenges on TikTok. Oh, Take right. a look. Yeah! <laughs> Keep that. Can you do this? Yeah. <laughs> hold up, hold up. See that? It's gonna take a lot more than this to keep this up. <laughs> Don't break my arm. Don't oh, break no. my arm. How oh, do no. I not do that? <laughs> Don't put a hole in the wall. I'm not. Don't put so much <laughs> pressure on. Huh? While I'm moving it. No, we need something with a stud. Mm. <laughs> Find the stud. Good. That's good. This is good. Oh, we gotta, we gotta oh, get no. it. Oh no, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> it's a loss of confidence in your eyes that I saw. Here it is. Here we go. <laughs> keep that, keep that. <laughs> keep that, keep that. Yeah. One more time. One more time. We got this. Here we go. Keep now that, we got keep it. That. Keep that, keep that, keep that. Oh, oh. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We try. We try. We'll, we'll uh, talk to them coming up uh, and show you some of their other challenges that they that took on. That is awesome. Oh. Number one, another classic Disney dog movie, The Ugly Dachshund from 1966. Oh, oh no. Within this modest laboratory, a mild-mannered doctor administers a special dextrocarbomaltolactose formula. Mm. Milk. What extraordinary creature will this ordinary pup become? Uh. Oh, wow. I've never heard of this. This is a monster? No, but he's in a movie monstrously mad, mad, mad. It's Walt Disney's The Ugly Dachshund. This is a love story. Well, it does begin that way. Starring Walt stories. Disney's bright new romantic comedy team, Dean Jones and Suzanne Blachette. Wow. We have a private party of our own. So much nicer here, just us. So cozy. <laughs> Second thought, that's not a very bad idea. Uh -huh. A real honeymoon dream house. Until the ugly dachshund moves in. You still gonna tell me that's a dachshund? I didn't say that, Fran. Not once did I say that that was a dachshund. Oh, no, no. You were sneaky about it. Sneaky, what? sneaky, sneaky. Okay, okay. Hi, smuggling me with a puppy's mark. I'm never gonna believe you again. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, for goodness sakes. Fix it. The ugly dachshund. This lovable pup turns into a monstrous 150 pounds of hilarious hound. A galumping Great Dane who thinks he's a pedigree dachshund. Now, we're not going to have any peace in this house till he realizes he is not a dachshund. And what happens from here on? Oh, boy. It's a great trailer. Yeah. Turns a happy home into a mad, mad, madhouse. 
All right, so yeah, all right. this old man's been so light hot, these two went on to be in the Shaggy DA that we showed yesterday. Wow. So oh, the two same uh, actors. Yeah, they, they oh. must have a Disney contract. I'm glad we let it run so we yeah. can understand the plot a little bit more. Because <laughs> initially, I'm like, what's going on? Yeah. And then when you find out he's 150 pounds, yeah. woo! Then you really know. That's the nine at nine. Yeah. Uh, Did you believe it from last year? Yeah, my gosh. Here's your nine at nine. <laughs>